The pupils constrict in response to light. In a way, it makes sense. More light, smaller pupils. This reaction is called pupillary light reflex. What do we check when we check this reflex? It's not just the eyes, but all parts of the reflex arc. The first part is the sensory receptors, and they are in the eye, in the retina of the eye, shown in red. The second part is the sensory fibers, shown in blue. What cranial nerve has the sensory fibers from the eye? It is the optic nerve, number two. The next part is the integration center in the central nervous system, in the brain, in its part called the midbrain. You'll see it very clearly during the brain dissection. The fourth part is the motor fibers to the muscle in the iris that constricts the pupil. Pupil constriction is the parasympathetic response. Think rest and digest, no need for light during sleep. Which cranial nerve has the parasympathetic fibers to the eye? It is the oculomotor nerve, number three. The fifth part is the effector, the muscle in the iris called pupillary constrictor. If something is wrong with any of these parts, including the cranial nerves and the brain, the reflex may disappear. Checking the reflex is like looking at the complete pathway. Is there a skull fracture that damaged the nerves? Is there a stroke in the midbrain that destroyed the integration center? This is the kind of questions that physicians may be asking when they check the pupillary reflex. Finally, is this reflex somatic or autonomic? If the effector is a voluntary skeletal muscle, the reflex would be somatic because it uses somatic motor nerves. But the constrictor muscle is involuntary and smooth. It means that the reflex is autonomic because it uses autonomic motor nerves, parasympathetic fibers. The reflex is cranial because the nerves are cranial, not spinal. This is how you describe any reflex, salivary, corneal, patella, or others. What are the stimulus and the response? What are the receptors and the effectors? What are the sensory and motor pathways? And where are the centers in the CNS? Is it somatic or autonomic reflex, cranial or spinal? Know all this and you know the reflex. Now you can watch a very short video of the eye reacting to light. Just click the annotation. It is not a professional video, but it's quite clear that in the darkness the pupil is dilating and in response to light it is constricting. By the way, what nerves would be involved in the opposite reflex when the pupils dilate? Can you guess? Uh, you know, if constriction is this, then dilation is that. If you got the answer, please write a comment below. There's a nice cat video on YouTube that proves the point. It is 12 seconds long and it is called Cat Pupils Dilation Before Striking. That's a hint. See you in class.